morning everybody it's Monday today the I think it's the 10th the 10th of yeah the 10th of July it's rained extremely a lot over the weekend and um, I'm just preparing uh, for my ride this morning while my wife is working uh, she always works a lot on a Monday I normally don't have much to do on a Monday so I thought I'm just gonna prepare a little route over here where most most people even in Oatswaran aren't even sh aware of this road that um, takes one between Oatswaran and Skumansuk. One can do it on the tar road which will take you straight to the Kanga Caves or you can do it on a back route which is much more exciting on a motorbike but I think today it will be really challenging. Normally it's a nice road but uh, today I think it will be extremely challenging uh, because of all the wetness and all the rain we've got. Uh, this is my cat here that um, I'm just greeting. I've got three cats actually but that's the oldest cat. He's about 12 years old. He suffers from dementia, insomnia, sugar diabetes and his ears have been uh, cut shorter because of cancer but he's He's a strong, he's a fighter and a very happy cat. Follows me everywhere. So he was, was probably just looking at what I'm doing, but he, as soon as they know we're going to ride bike, they normally uh, seem to get sad about it. But um, I was just letting him know that I'll be back. Yeah, what, uh, what I'm doing here is actually I'm preparing two cups of coffee to throw into my urn so that I don't have to make coffee along the road or stop anywhere to buy a coffee there isn't actually much places to buy a coffee there although there is a restaurant too but it's a bit out of my way so um, I'm just making a coffee to throw into my urn and as you guys will be able to see on the main on the on, on the video I'm quite clumsy so I do mess a lot uh, while I'm doing this while I'm doing this process but um, all good I clean up and everything and ready to go but the uh, clumsiness actually is very ironic compared to the road that I'm going to be driving there's no room for clumsiness um, then it's where you have to be really focused on the ride as you guys will see later on the video I actually think that's why I actually make two cups is because um, normally one cup would fill up maybe the urn but I missed at least half of both cups and that fills up the urn ev uh, eventually so I'm so used to doing it like that but all good. For those of you who are new to the channel, um, this is the same road that I used in one of my previous videos, how to avoid potholes, right? I always use the back route out of the neighborhood so that I avoid the potholes on the on the tarmac and normally where I would turn left to go into town I just go straight on this one and turn right to go to get onto this road to Skumans to Skumans. If you noticed here on my left hand side before I get onto the road is a massive hole and that hole that's there is about at least a meter or more deeper and that's made by one of these ant eaters or Cuts. Uh, I think it's an ant eat or something. We get them a lot in our area, and that's one thing you really have to be sharp and aware of on 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 the on the off-road trails, not on the road itself, but just on the off-road trail, which is what I'm doing here at the moment, and I'm still preparing to get onto the road. But um, strangely enough, that's normally the the route that I always take is the one on the left. It seemed, but today I just by chance decided to be on the right-hand side, and luckily for me. Because that can really become nasty when you fall in there with your bike. Uh, traffic on this road is almost zero. Yes, there will be every now and then a uh, car. Um, some cars do go quite fast on this road um, from, from, from buckies. But I mean, and that's when the, when the road is dry and in a good condition. But like on a day like today, there's actually everywhere uh, warning signs for flood damage and so on and the road is basically closed so I'm taking 
quite a big chance driving on this road today and um, I was actually even thinking of turning around sometimes because it was quite challenging. I won't be chatting much further on the video uh, you can just uh, ride with me and see how the road looks um, like I said um, the reason why I decided to do this route today with the road looking the way it is is basically you can never predict um, how the road will be if you're traveling long distances because um, one would say it's preferably dry to ride on when it's dry but even in summer by us sometimes we get this flush flash rainstorms that can actually rain so much in 30 minutes and make the road look like this on any given day so I reckon one needs to get that experience under under the belt of being used to driving in any conditions that that is thrown to you and um, what I've learned riding on a road like this is one has to basically be standing on the pegs hopefully most of the time the chances of sliding or falling it's it's very possible but um, you'll notice as I ride on this road my speed stays consistent it's it's a gentle pace and when I do get into an obstacle I'd either um, just increase the pace gently or go into the into the water gently so that um, you don't you don't lose traction so you're trying to get as much traction as possible and um, yeah it's it's pretty tough it's it's definitely um, something you don't want to be on but it's sometimes something that you cannot avoid and with this big bike you can see it's very possible to to do it uh, it's, uh, you know and i'm not a like i've said in all my previous videos i'm not a professional nor am a young guy I'm, i mean i'm quite elderly as it is but um it's just putting yourself through the paces and um i have fallen before but that's the, but that's that's how you learn a classical example of um why you need to learn to ride on roads like this is um i mean if you guys um go and watch uh this lady from holland i think itchy boots she's very famous um youtube blogger and you'll see the different conditions she drives in she's driven in north america she's driven in south africa she's driven um she's now riding riding in africa here by sierra Leone, those areas um, and you see the conditions he's had to put up with like one minute it's like deep sand and next minute it's mud and the traffic that she that she's riding in I actually take my hats off to her because um, I don't even think I'll be able to do some of the stuff she's she does on her channel but I think she has at least a good six seven eight years experience of driving on different continents different conditions and um she yes she definitely drives a lighter bike which is what you need to do the thing but the but the experience you can get is only by trying uh, trying it out or else um you'll never learn Yeah, it's, it's, it really gets snotty on these roads but um, besides having a gentle pace and a consistent pace um, one has to stay very nimble on your bike uh, soft touches soft input go with the uh, when the bike starts moving under you don't panic just just go with it go go with it but don't don't like over rev the bike or it will make it worse because your wheels will spin more and so and so I just find everything you do on road like this must be gentle
there is a lot of guys on 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 the internet uh, on YouTube that give good advice like red tracks and so a few a few other guys but I, I do find a lot of those guys the advice they're giving is is more for a guy that's much more wanting to improve his skill than starting off this skill because um, this is like the way they do it is just easy peasy but it's not it's not easy peasy it's it's it takes a bit of it takes a bit of getting used to and a bit of experience and a bit of guts it's almost like if you're scared of heights it's hard to overcome that uh, the same way it is with riding motorbike uh, motorcycle uh, it takes a bit of getting used to it to get over that scared feeling that you get when things start feeling when you start feeling unsecure and and so on so it's actually a, a very good thing to to overcome and the best way to do it is on gravel road because on on tarmac i think if you basically mess up there it could be fatal because it's this it's it's busy it's 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 star it's everything but you can see on the roads that i'm doing uh, not much cars come my way and if i do fall at this pace yes i could get sore but i don't i, I wouldn't say the chance of it being fatal is much less and um and the chances of being ridden over after you've fallen or something like that it's much it's much less so i think it's better to do it on on gravel Yeah, well, besides the road being in the condition it is, normally this road is much, much better and um, and much easier to navigate and it's very pleasant and a very scenic route. Um, the weather I've got today, it's still clouded and it looks like it's most probably snow on the mountains. But in general, it's a beautiful day actually for riding.
once again guys I'm just arriving at the end of the road here and just a recap it's commitment commit to the line that you've chosen wrong or right believe in yourself and just go with it and um, if you fall just get up don't climb on the bike straight away think about it think what went wrong just relax give it 10 10 15 minutes just relax go go pick up your bike work it out climb back on and try again yes there's going to be roads that are almost impossible but then you just try and walk your bike just push your bike along the, along and uh, get over that bad section um, that that you're struggling with but it's commitment and commitment and commitment Es ist die Wettel ist nicht, ne? Ja, wenn ich auch reinmachen, kann ich auch wieder hier in den Ja. Waren die Wartung, oder? Ja. 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 Well, this is a pleasant route where, where I'm standing now. It's about 400 meters to my right. One will go to the wine estate, Caruso, which has fantastic white wines. They serve a great, uh, great breakfast and a great lunch too. Nice snacks. It's a great, great stop if you're on your way to the Kango Caves or to um, Swartberg Mountains. It's really worth a while to stop here and uh, a very, very nice ride. Especially for a Sunday, if you're traveling between from Mossel Bay on motorcycle or from George on motorcycle, this is really a nice route to take and just to enjoy the day. Really good. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye on our next video. Thank you.